Hello, and this is uh, one of my first uh, video reviews of some software. I'm uh, going to look at the Warper Web Analytics Java client. It's a auxiliary, or, or I guess the main piece that most people will be using when they use Weber Web, uh, sorry, Warper Web Analytics. Anyway, so let's get a look at on what it brings to Web Analytics for your site. So once you launch, you'll be logging into the Warper uh, service, which we already happen here. We have some options. We can go to full screen, some tools, which are basically options for setting proxies. Um, one of the things here is we have uh, basic settings. I would like to see maybe a checkbox to enable a proxy, because right now it's basically fill in the URL and port, otherwise erase it when you don't need it. So it would be kind of nice to either have an on or an off. Uh, we have some basic help, but some of the other settings we have, since if you have multiple sites, you can define the site names that you are managing. We also can see there are some simple uh, color skins to be used for uh, using Wupra. It's kind of a nice little customization. I think the default is coffee bean, so let's set it back to that. So in the application, we see we have a, a nice little timeline graph here that shows the uh, today visits, the today page views, so we can see how many people are, are visiting, how many people are viewing. We also have the today visits and average visits. We can see uh, basically is today a, an above average day, a below average day. It's a t an hour by hour breakdown of today's data. Now I believe that because this is beta, there is maybe a little bug with the time because these times are definitely in the future from my site. Um, when you do set up Warper, you do define what your offset, your time offset is, but I'm not sure if it's ca used in the calculation of these graphs. So we have our page views and our average page views, just like our, our visits. And then we have the live counter, and we'll get into this special little counter in a little bit. So in the dashboard, we have the hourly, um, sorry, the daily counts of visits and hits and the hourly breakdown, which correlates to uh, some of the timeline above. We can also see what pages are popular. We can see the home page on this site is uh, the most popular link today. We can see the, the landing page, how people are, are entering our site, where are they exiting from, and how many hits each site is getting. And the average time used on the site, I don't see any traffic here yet, so I don't know if that is functioning. Um, we also see how do people get here? You know, this is how are they referring to our sites? We can see where the backlinks are coming from and when they were la where they were first, I'm assuming first hit this site. And we can get the full details of it. So if you want to track uh, who's posting about your site, this is what you can see. We can see the top domains that are referring to us, whooper.com. My old blog link is pretty popular still, uh, not po pretty popular, just active anyway. Um, and we also can see the, a donut view of the sources. Is it a uh, is it a referral backlink? Is it a direct uh, entry typing into the URL, or is it a search engine which landed here? So we also see the search engine breakdown based upon queries. What queries the search engines uh, led a visitor to our site? We see we've got data from Yahoo, Live Search, and Google, of course. We also have a nice little keyword cloud. We can see doc is, was used twice and today in some of the keyword searches. This could help <clears throat> show you what keywords are you know, behaving best in the search engines to bring visitors to your site. We also see the country breakdown. Uh, majority of users are coming from the United States to the site. We can also see uh, you know, how often are people are coming back, how many are new visits versus returning visits today. We also have a nice little uh, ticker down here or crawl like you might see on some of the popular news cable uh, channels. We can see statistics based upon today and you know is it up from yesterday, down from yesterday. It's very uh, stock market-esque kind of view. We can stop it and I don't think we can go backwards so it's just kind of a uh, pause and continue kind of interface. But very nice to keep an eye on some statistics that are you know uh, climbing or retreating. So this is the, our, our dashboard view of uh, what we can see going on in our site. It keeps everything in a nice little console. We can look at it and you know, decide what information we're looking for. It would be kind of nice if we can maybe have a custom pane here to add some you know, custom queries uh, of the site. Like Maybe you want to see how many breakdown of uh, 
OS version or browser or something along those lines. Um, so we can also look at our historical data. We can see that there's a uh, column-esque sort of uh, tabular data here. So we could choose our recent visitors or some tagged visitors, which we'll go into in a little bit. But right now we're going to look at some of the recent visits. And we can search and we can see that uh, it gives us a breakdown of you know the the visit date the ID name now by default if you do not tag a user um, it will say visitor and the visitor number if it's the first time that that person has shown up here or we can tag him uh, or her as a, uh, a specific name that has some meaning to us so let's say this is a test user so now all other data that is coming from this user within the Whipper system will be tagged as that test user. We can see what they were doing, so what they were reading, where they were, where they came from. Gives us a breakdown again: the country, some city locations, uh, the language, and their system, such as their OS version or uh, type, and their browser version, and of course their screen resolution. We can also filter our data um, by country, by an IP address. So it would be kind of nice if we could do uh, wildcard searches here. Um, so maybe you want to see everything from a particular subnet or you know, matches um, some range of IP addresses to maybe get a, you know, a broader view of where our traffic is coming from a specific network. Um, wildcards don't seem to work yet. I don't know if this is something I'll be adding in the future. Uh, it would be kind of nice to also have some of a multi-select um, capability uh, or a multi-definition so we want you know, uh, multiple visitor IDs to come up. And again, languages. Uh, so we can, if you have a very busy site, this can give you a more, you know, keyed in view of what the traffic's coming to your site. So that's the historic view. Um, we also look at our analytic view of what is going on in the site. We have our, basically our high categories, our visitors, systems, pages, and referrers. Um, we do have uh, our date range capability here, so we can see you know how much uh, back history or ranges we want, whether it's today, tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, but the last week or so. So we have again our timeline view, and again because web project was just activated on this site, there's not much data yet to see uh, available. We can see by by overview per day, and we have a map view of where our data, our traffic's coming from. We can see you know, the U.S. is majority some South Africa, Germany, you know, it's a nice little highlight. I'm not sure if there is a uh, color coding used as you get more traffic, because there's not enough traffic yet, but we can see the areas glow brighter the more traffic that comes uh, along. And we can see the breakdown of uh, countries that are coming. And we have, again, our bar graph, and we also have our donut view. So it gives us, uh, you know, some visuals, and we also have the ability to export this data in CSVs, so maybe you want to, you know, do some reporting in Excel or some custom reporting application. Um, the data is available for that. And we can see based upon the tagged view of uh, the traffic. So again, we, we put those tags and you can see, you know, our, our customers versus, you know, visitors and basically slicing, displaying the slice of how you've defined that data. And the bounce rate, you know, we can see how many page views are people are really coming to visit. You know, is, is it a lot? Is it a little? Are they really engaged in the content of your site? And again, the duration. How long are the average people uh, visiting or spending time on your site? So then we have our systems information. We have, you know, our uh, browser brand and browser versioning. And, you know, we can see the breakdown. Uh, what are the systems that are coming from? So we have, you know, Vista, Ubuntu, Linux, uh, Mac. So we can say, how, are we majority Mac users? Are we, you know, XP users, Windows users? Again, our pie or donut chart. Standard resolutions, you know, the majority of people, are they coming in a high or they a low resolution? The languages, we can see English is the most popular here, but Slavic and Danish are, are making uh, appearances. And then segmentation is kind of interesting. We can see a breakdown by combinations. We can say, you know, how many people on Explorer 7 were running on XP and update it. And maybe they have that resolution. 
and English only. Uh, it's not enough data here to really give a, a breakdown. But as you can see, you can get really pretty granular in building these combinations. This is pretty helpful if you were a web developer trying to target some CSS maybe to some of the specific versions that are out there. And we can reset those filters back to the normal. And then here's the kind of the, the exciting information. You know, how, what are people doing on your site? What's popular, what's not? We can see the main landing page is pretty popular the past two days. Where do they enter? Again, what bra stuff seems to be pretty popular. We have a breakdown. I believe there's some filter capabilities here where we can, you know, if we have a lot of uh, sites, we could type and it'll live filter our searches. So exit pages, we can see where are people visiting, where are they from, and where, where are they leaving our site at. We want them to kind of engage more and maybe, you know, check out our site a little bit more. And then depending on your breakdown of your site structure, we can see uh, this might give you some indication of what people are viewing per your site structure. Really kind of useful there. I like the interactive, you know, filtering and, you know, tree view here. If you have outgoing links, what are they clicking on? Where are they leaving from? This can tell you kind of where, where are they leaving your site from or maybe viewing some of your other people you're referring to. If you have downloads, currently not really many downloads on my site, so not really anything I'm expecting to see there. So we have custom events, and we'll get into uh, what those custom events are shortly. So one of the, I don't know, the, the interesting things of uh, Whoopra is the ability to see live data, see data of visitors in real time or near real time. Actually, it's pretty real from when the vi people visit and when they actually report as being uh, visiting your site. But we can see we still have a zero visitors right now, and unfortunately, we don't have any of the view. So let me open up a, a web browser here and visit our site. So I just clicked on it and we could see almost immediately uh, the information pops up that there is a, a visitor to the site. We can see the path they're looking at um, and some of the details. We can see their history. How often does this user come back? You know, how much data do we have on them? And we can, well, let's get into that in a second. But we can tag the visitor with a name. So this is, uh, let's call him Jeff for now because it's me. So that again, we'll use that data in the, uh, all of our reporting. We have a little mini map and a little crosshair to see who we're, we're pointing on. And again, we can do some some filtering based upon the visitors. You know, what are they doing now? What pages are they on? Which pages are most active? Really kind of insightful information. So back to the start of conversation. This is kind of one of the unique features of Wipra is the ability to uh, engage your visitors and say, hey, you know, maybe I've noticed you're looking at this, or maybe they're posting things, or, you know, you want to interact with them. So by typing, you know, hi, Jeff, user, what's going to happen is, is there's going to be a, a JavaScript pop-up, or a pop-under on the visiting user's website. It's basically saying that the webmaster would like to have a little chat with you, which is kind of, you know, ominous and could be a little scary. Uh, so I'm not sure how users will react to people looking over their shoulder, and even though they kind of know that we can do it. Nobody really interacts and talks to them. So this is kind of a new feature. <clears throat> so once uh, this appears on the site, uh, I should say this is the webmaster. Now it would be kind of nice if you could uh, configure uh, the pop-up view uh, of the for the user so that way they could um, Maybe a little more custom to say this is the what site they're coming from. Maybe a little bit a little less ominous. And at that point, they're brought to the Whoopra site where there a chat uh, window is opened up, and they can chat with you, and you can chat with them, and you know engage that visitor a little bit better than you know the contact form that you might be using today. So one of the things you can also do is set up notifications if you have the client running. You could, uh, it'll notify you almost like a system tray, system alert. Uh, a little window pops up saying that this visitor meets this criteria. And you could set several criteria for how you want to be alerted. In this case, I'm specifying a Whoopra user because I'm going to specify any users who are coming from the, uh, referred from the Whoopra website today. 
So we can see we, we can break them down by that visitor ID, the IP address, if we've tagged them, what country they're coming from. Uh, again, if it's a specific file that we're looking to, we just published a, a new, you know, picture, movie, you know, somebody clicks on it, we want to know, and maybe want to engage them as well. If they're leaving your site from external link, what is it? Or in this case, we have Whoopra in the referral link, which is coming from the Whoopra site. So again, we can choose, um, it looks like single values. I like to have multiple values here if we could. Maybe you want a range in the case of, uh, you know, French and German or maybe Linux and, you know, uh, Mac OS X. So we could choose what the, what the alert looks like here, uh, if, it's got, if they have an avatar. Um, I'm curious to see what the avatar is. I know there's some integration with uh, Whoopra and some of the popular uh, bulletin board so sites, so maybe we can it'll integrate the avatars from those sites. And we have some variables we can put in the alert to maybe give us some more information about who's um, visiting that, that site and then alert. And again, it'll be a pop-up message and a nice little sound to alert you that this person is coming to your site. So. This is, uh, I said, the, I think a good overview of what Whoopra offers. It's still in beta, but it's, so far it's a very, very rich, uh, engaging application. I think it really is going to kind of give that, uh, that onlooker some information about uh, who is visiting their site. And just as we see, we have a new visitor coming from the CNET site about some Zoom doc stuff I wrote a while back on jacktech.com. And we can see where they're coming from. And if I wanted, I could start a conversation, but we're, we're not going to do that right now. And we can see, again, all their information about what they're doing. So really kind of uh, inspecting you know, our visitors or seeing our content, really kind of useful. Um, we can see the, the traffic again. So you know, I would check it out. It's at whooper.com. Uh, I've used a lot of other analytics uh, applications. And so far, this is probably the most engaging and intriguing. So uh, check it out and uh, let them know what you think. They're still in beta and they're still looking for some feedback on what you love and what you don't. Um, they're saying this is going to be a free service for uh, you know average traffic applications. Uh, they're still undecided on a pricing for high traffic. So give it a shot. All right, thanks.